Hello and welcome to episode 176 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on making a rack for empty bulk storage bins. Um, but first, say hello Rainstorm. Hi everyone, Rainstorm here. Okay, so this is then going to be all about uh, what you do with them empty BSBs that you've got lying around which you don't actually have a purpose for yet because they're empty and you just made a load. Um, so first I'm going to give you some details about the rack for empty BSBs. The bulk storage container unit, which is also how it's referenced, can hold up to 30 empty bulk storage bins. Uh, it cannot put items into the BSBs while they are in the rack, which speaks for the whole name of it, you know, rack for empty BSBs, so obviously you can't put anything into them when it's in the rack. It can be planted, it cannot be mailed. To pick it up, it must be empty of bulk storage bins, to reiterate, and individual empty bulk storage bins can be added and removed once created. The total materials needed to make this is one large nail, two times wooden beams and six planks. You will be using the fine carpentry skill to make the rack and uh, to get started you'll need to activate the large nails and right click on a beam. So let's do that. Thank you Rainstorm for preparing um, all of the materials that I'm going to need for this. In fact let's just Let's just take them all and open up my inventory. And let's see, so I'm going to place it just here on my, because it's only a temporary. Right, so we activate the large nails and right click on a wooden beam, create container, and we're looking for rack or empty BSBs. Remember it uses your fine carpentry skill and mine is on 51.25 so let's do this. Right okay so there's the unfinished so I'm going to right click now and add it to the crafting window. And let's now add the other beam. and whack that up and continue and now let's give it the planks and there we go so this is what the rack for empty BSBs looks like just a uh, just like a load of boards on the ground but you're gonna see when I put some of these BSBs into it it's well as soon as I put one into it it's going to change into a different uh, graphic. That looks like a palette. Yeah, palette. That's the word I was seeking. It looks just like a palette, doesn't it, when it's empty? Yeah. So let's right click on it, open it up, and watch what happens as soon as I put uh, one of the BSBs in there. See, it changes into that graphic. And let's drop the rest. Now it does fit up to 30 but Rainstorm and me decided there's no point in uh, doing 30 bins, that's just pointless. The fact that you can see 4 being put in there, you know the maximum amount is 30. So this is really for those of you that have got a project that you want to do and you want to make up a load of empty uh, bulk BSBs to start with in preparation for whatever that project is and to save them lying all over the ground like on my island. As Rainstorm pointed out, uh, <laughs> you can keep them all stored in here so it's much neater and tidier. Okay, Rainstorm, is there anything else uh, we can mention about this? I realise it's going to be a short episode, but. No, actually, I can't think of anything. Um, it just makes it easier when you're making these units, these the one right behind you, the bulk container unit. It just makes it easier when you already have all the materials made up for you. you just reach in, grab some, and then make yeah. some more of these. 
Yeah, that's definitely a good use for it because this thing, of course, can be full up with them as well if you use it. And, and you know, we always need bulk storage bins all over the place, right? Yeah. We have them in the pines and everything. So by having some already pre-made makes it much easier. We just grab one and go and plop it where we need it. Well, for those in settlements where they've got a dedicated carpenter, uh, especially for those playing Worm Online, now their mm -hmm. carpenter can fill up this empty BSB for everyone to just take them as they need them. I think it's very, yeah, very exactly. useful. Because there's dedicated jobs, isn't there, that people use in like, big settlements? Some do, yeah. That is true. Anything else you'd like to add to this? Nope. I can't oh. think of anything. Actually, I've just remembered something else I wanted to mention. Just a little update on the Al Almanac. Uh, Rainstorm very kindly has been still doing handing me lots of different reports so I've dropped them all in there as you can see so let's have a quick sh show you this quickly uh, just as an update to the old almanac um, and how useful it is so if I go to read it you'll see in this list here there's three green items and if you remember correctly that's telling us that they're in season so we can harvest them so for the hazelnuts that started today and will go on for another three weeks six days so four weeks in total and also at the moment raspberries and walnuts and i've never even seen the raspberry have you rainstorm yes i suppose you must have because you got me the report for this so <laughs> that makes sense yeah uh, Wista has planted some raspberry bushes. Oh, she? Mm -hmm. You could forge them up, uh, the seeds for it, and then plant them, and um, and then just start. But they look just like a shrub. Yeah, but how handy is this? Um, I notice I've got. Um, gr uh, is, oh no, I've got grapes because we must eventually do a vineyard. You do have a vineyard. Do I? You don't remember me? <laughs> yes, you wanted to do a episode on wine, so I created your or turned your um, farmland into a vineyard. Oh, that's right. We haven't done it yet, though, have we? No, we have not. <laughs> it's too much to do. <laughs> and we still haven't done that one. We had a trial run, didn't we, of doing the enchanted weapon? We must get around to doing that as well, linking. Yes. There's still quite <laughs> There's a lot we haven't done yet. <laughs> yeah, there is an actual fact. There is, yeah, indeed. Two years later and we still have tons of stuff to go over. Yeah, but that's good. It keeps the series and uh, the game alive. Right. So. Uh, we even were going to show the different shades or qualities of paint uh, or dyes when you put dye on something to show them how if you only have 25 quality... Here's what it's going to look like, 50 quality, 75 yeah. quality. Yeah, good point. We'll have to do an update on the dyes, an episode just for that. Give everyone an update, see how the progress is. So, yeah, lots of stuff we haven't done yet. So that means, what, you've got a lot more videos to do, right? Yeah. It's going to be a, a long time before this series ever ends, if it ever ends. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if, if, heaven forbid, we ever run out of material for... That'll never happen! Yeah, true. But if we did, then we could just start in um, uh, adventure mode, isn't that the other mode? Right. I know so. you want to do adventure mode. Um, well, it's no rush. But the thing is, everything in creative is on adventure, but there's stuff in adventure that can't be done in creative, so... Yeah. By finishing it up in here and then moving over, it's mostly um, just gameplay that's in the other one. Yeah. All the adventures that you can do and stuff. Yeah. I will get there eventually. Yeah. Right, if you want to say your goodbyes, I will say the outro. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you, Rainstorm. Um, oh, and just one last note. Um, me and Rainstorm obviously always record the episodes in advance and we try to do them as much as we can in advance because obviously Rainstorm's in America and I'm in England so we can't always be sure of having this being online the same time in order to record them so we do them in advance and at the moment it's between Christmas and uh, New Year's about 
five, six days away. So I just want to wish you all happy holidays and um, a happy new year, even turn, though... Turn sorry. around and show them the little lights. Yeah, so just to prove that it is Christmas still. On, on the server? <laughs> on the server, on. yeah. Can you, can you see it up there? Yeah. Okay. All those lights, that's where Santa's sitting, which happens to be your island, not mine for some reason. Mm. Everybody spawns here, but for some reason he spawns over there. <laughs> I wanted a peaceful Christmas, that's why. Yeah. So, All yeah. Right. So it's Boxing Day, and there you go. So happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. Right, okay, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic Christmas and a fantastic day. Goodbye.